Yeah. Hey everybody, welcome to Cherry the Geek TV here at San Diego Comic Con 2022. We are here with Kevin Scott, right? the High Republic uh, Star Wars author, comic book author. Uh, we're going to dive into all of his uh, projects. Uh, uh, let's start off with uh, Comic Con in general. The, the High Republic uh, uh, was supposed to be announced at the Comic Con 2020, and now it got canceled. And had to push back in at least six months and then do all your promos and Zoom Primes. And, and uh, now with Star Wars Celebration of, uh, a month ago, and, and you're now coming back, you're back out and getting to promote amongst the people. What's it like being back uh, with, the, with the fans and getting to talk about your projects with them face to face? The amazing thing is seeing how much it's been to I think the pandemic, you know, if there was any silver lining to that, it was the fact that the Art of Public North of it, and suddenly there was a bunch of books and comics and, and audios for people to enjoy and it became a bit of a pandemic um, activity for people and it brought them together and yeah celebration um, like and I it was just incredible to see it when I mean, we had 4,000 people turn up to a book camp which is crazy but it's to see how much it meant to people and see and hear stories how it got them through the pandemic or it's got them talking to family members you know, because they were sharing an experience that was so touching and so amazing and yeah for us we did everything remotely somewhere you know everything we planned went out the window um, so for the celebration, we had all five of us back together in the room, and, and that was very special. Yeah. We were looking for the screen that separated us. What are you doing in the same room? But um, yeah. So you announced uh, some new uh, High Republic things at Star Wars Celebration. Uh, you're going to have a High Republic uh, panel tomorrow here at Comic Con. Yeah. Uh, for those that maybe missed that announcement, uh, what can you tease? Uh, what's coming up in this next phase of uh, High Republic? Sure, so the High Republic um, Phase 2, we go back 150 years before Star Wars. Um, so me personally, I'm writing the Marvel comic again, working with Ariana and Dito again. We go to Jeddah, with Planet's first scene in Rogue One, and we find out what the Jeddah really is at the time there, um, in the middle of a religious war that's going on on the planet. Um, so I'm writing that comic, and I'm also writing the second YA novel uh, of the Phase 2, um, which is called um, Path of Vengeance. That, uh, that will become that comes out the following so phase one launches this October and then I think it's around April next year. Well, High Republic is not the only thing that we're going to get on comics projects. Uh, let's uh, break those down. First one is called The Ward. Welcome to the Madhouse. What can you tell us about uh, that one? So the ward is um, out from um, Dark Horse and very Pons on Art. It's basically um, ER if ER was dealing with mythology creatures. So it's a secret hospital called like Lilith. We'll have to deal with minotaurs and banshees and all the creatures. If they get injured, they need somewhere to go and they can't exactly rock up at a normal um, hospital. So it's about it's literally like the medical dramas you have on TV. My wife loves them. I watch them with her, and I always think this would be better with monsters. So that's what I did. That's coming out uh, January 2023. Yeah, that's the it's coming out um, in the monthlies at the minute from Dark Horse and then the collection of Dark And then uh, Shadow Service, uh, yes. another project that we're doing. So Shadow Service, um, we're coming up with the third arc now from Vault Comics, um, Corinne Howard, the artist. It's basically, um, I'm, I'm a Brit, so you might have gathered. We have to like James Bond, it's in the Constitution, you know, it's the, and so I grew up loving Bond, I grew up loving Hammer Horror and Doctor Who, and it's basically the combination of all of us, all of those things. MI666 is the British Secret Service for the supernatural, um, and they keep um, the green and pleasant land of Britain free of demonic um, inversions. Mostly. And then we're here at the IDW booth, yeah. and uh, IDW's project uh, coming up called Dead Seas. Dead Seas, which we're uh, wearing the t-shirt. That's right. awesome. There's a, a little uh, preview uh, issue over there, yes. a two-page sample from that. Yeah, That's yeah. amazing looking book to me. Uh, about Dead Seas. So Dead Seas is a super, and you might have gathered I like supernatural shows and series. Um, basically, in the world of Dead Seas, ectoplasm has become a new miracle cure. They've realized you can stay stay alive forever if you take the stuff. Unfortunately, it's incredibly dangerous to get hold of. So what they do is they put a lot of ghosts on a ship in the middle of the ocean, send convicts in to go and collect it, scrape it off the wards, and unfortunately one of the ships starts sinking. So it's basically the Poseidon Adventure meets the Haunting a Hill House. Um, and it's a lot of fun. Nick broke a child on art with what I with in Star Wars. And yeah, we're having a blast of it. And look, those two pages look amazing. I can't read, read the final, uh, final project. Uh, what do you like more? You, you know, you talk about, we talked about the High Republic, you're writing novels, uh, you do comics. What do you like more as a writer? Doing comics, doing books, or you like them, you like them both? What, what are the challenges of uh, maybe of, of each of them? And, and what do you like or dislike about sure. one, 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 one. 
I, mean, I think at my heart, I'm always a scriptwriter. Yeah, whether I came originally from radio drama, that's where I started out, and we have a big radio drama scene still in the UK. Um, so script work is always it feels like I'm coming home, and that translates so easily into comic books and what we on TV at the minute. Um, and I like the team aspect of all of those things. You know, I like being part of a team on a comic book. Obviously, when you're doing drama, audio drama, TV drama, you're obviously just one cog in the wheel. You're sort of setting it off and then seeing how people interpret it. And I love that. I've always enjoyed that. With a novel, it, means it gives you a chance to really drill down and get into characters and spend a lot of time with them, which you don't necessarily get. I spend time, literally months, working on something. When, when you work in a comic, it's just a machine you're going all the time. You know, which I love the energy of that, but when you write, so I've just finished Power of Vengeance, just delivered that just before I arrived, um, and yes, yeah, so the last been months of sitting there with those characters, and it's it's a completely different experience, um, and so you get you get something out at the other end, you know, when you see people connecting to them, that's the important thing, because um, you've spent so much time with those characters, well, then it's the scary bit when you sort of let it out the world, and then see what people think, um, and also see what they take out, it's never what you thought you put in, that's the question. You're one of my favorite writers. Uh, I oh, look forward to your High Republic stuff uh, and, and I'm looking forward to your comic stuff. For those that haven't checked his stuff out, um, the McDoosh of Treat, you're not going to be disappointed. Uh, Kevin Scott, thanks so much for talking with us on Cherry TV. Keep tuned for uh, more coverage here at San Diego Comic Con 2022.